Hi everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different. You're not going to see me playing any games. I just wanted to show you uh, how to monitor your CPU components while you're playing your favorite games uh, in a corner of your screen while you're in the game. All right, so you're going to need basically to do that. You're going to need uh, two programs. One is MSI Afterburner and another one is Riva Tunnel Statistic Server. Uh, so all what you do, you're gonna go to these websites, MSI Afterburner. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a link in the description of the video. MSI Afterburner 4.4 uh, Beta. You all what you do, just scroll down there. Make sure you're gonna go get the latest version of this program. The same, you're gonna go to Riva Riva uh, Tuner Statistics Server website, and then you do the same. Scroll down to the bottom. Make sure they're gonna go the latest one. Once you've done that, um, obviously you're gonna install it and you're gonna start from MSI Afterburner. Uh, at the beginning, once you see this frame coming up, popping up on your screen, I mean, uh, you're gonna click this. That will start it up with your with your window, so you don't have to start it up every time when you start your PC. Then you're gonna go to the options. You're gonna go to the Fed tab, which is monitoring. And uh, this is all what you want to see. This is all the uh, all the things what you can what you can have on your screen. If you are interested in all of it, um, I've got only a few, which is like GPU temperature, GPU usage, you know, CPU usage, CPU temperature, and memory, uh, which I think they're quite important. So, for example, I don't know if you would like to see FB usage, just click on that and click tick this option show in on-screen display once you've done that just click ok that's pretty much it all right i don't want to see that so i'm going to untick it all right once you've done that just click ok apply and uh, make sure that you're going to keep that after burner minimize you don't want to close it so all right so we're going to minimize it then we're going to go to riva Statu riva tunnel statistics server and you're going to do the same here you're going to start it with windows so make sure that you're going to select that option uh, this uh, this part here allows you to create like a separate profiles for every single game what you want. Uh, so, but I've, I've keep it on global. That means that will, uh, that will this program will apply all these settings to every single game. Um, all right. So all what you're doing basically here is locking your frame frame rate. I always keep my at 60. I'm playing at 60 hertz monitor, so I've got a lock at 60. Just click on there tap 60 enter and that's pretty much it uh, that that must be on you can change the uh, the look of uh, of your frame rate if you want you can you can you can it could be like this like this whatever I keep it on vector 2d I think it's quite neat looks good you can change the color of it you can zoom it in zoom it out you can replace it by uh, if you want to somewhere well, you can replace it but I like I like to I like to keep it over there. Four and four, and that's pretty much it. You do the same. You just minimize it. You don't close the program. You don't want to do that. Once you've done that, every time when you start a game, you're gonna see all these settings, all these numbers on your on your in-game screen. So I think it's quite useful. I'm keep using it with every single game. I like to see how my PC is, uh, is doing while I'm playing these games. So hopefully this is going to be helpful. And uh, hopefully you're going to enjoy it. And uh, I'll see you during the live streams. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.